My name is Jennifer Johnson and I have been a general contractor in Dallas for about eight years and about a year ago I opened up the construction trade school where I'm now the executive director. Uh, to be really honest with you, I wasn't even aware of the misclassification of workers until we had graduated our first class of uh, job site supervisors. We had contractors coming in and they were filling out application paperwork to hire our students and one or two of them was mentioning uh, very offhandedly that they wanted to have a lead carpenter or job site supervisor, but they wanted to keep them as a subcontractor. Now to me, as a contractor, it didn't make sense. And then as a contractor too, you get really, really good at uh, these, uh, we call them gut checks or red flags. It's the way that people behave and they act when they're doing something or trying to get something that maybe is inappropriate or wrong. So. At that moment, I realized that something was going on, and so as I started to um, ask the contractors what they meant by that, they said, oh, maybe I, I, I don't like to do all the bookkeeping, so I, I only have subs, I don't have employees. And I said, well, is this a part-time job or is this a full-time job? And he goes, well, you know, they can work 40 hours a week for me, and uh, you know, I've had a couple of guys that have been working for years for me like this, and I mean, you know, everybody's happy this way, and they get to claim their own taxes and all their write-offs now. Well, that was just complete nonsense.